Yes, I'm being very consistent and I'm getting the hang of things. Today is Sunday, my favourite day of the week. You know why? I get to eat anything I want. And I'm going to do that today for sure. I need to show you guys my nails. I have never, ever had black on my nails. Like, can we just take a moment for the perfection of my nails? So I'm actually off acrylics now. I have given up on it, even though I had an amazing time designing and having all different type of shapes i just feel like right now i'm so into like my natural nails and i want to look after them because i had acrylics for about three years non-stop so this is biab and i found a girl she does russian manicures you have to google it the technique is out of this world and my nails truly need a moment i am going to get ready i'm gonna do my lips i've already done my makeup the usual kind of makeup i'll put some lashes at the end of the eye a lot of people always ask me what lashes i use guys i use any lash that i find i always just cut beginning bit of the eye so let's say the strip is like this i always cut this bit and then I use that bit and I add it to the end of the eye. It's super easy, just cut them. Even if it's old lashes, it does the trick. Ever since I dissolved my lips, I really do miss doing my lips. Like in the sense of when you have fuller luscious lips, I feel like you can be creative with your lip color. But right now there's like only a few lip colors that kind of make me feel comfortable. That I still overline my lips the way I had them. So if you ever meet me in person and you come really close to my face you'll be able to see a good inch on top of my lip i do love the look of bigger lips so i i do really cheat when it comes to lips i'm really liking like pink undertone as a lip liner i usually use like straight dark brown i just feel like sometimes it could look a little bit harsh came across this lip liner by mac it's called half red and it just kind of mimics my natural lip color i always just like to blend in the color into the lip so it doesn't look like i have a line i've been using this is like my favorite combo recently oh my god i got hair the huda beauty lip contour in pinky brown it's like the perfect pinky brown. The description is absolutely perfect. And I kind of just put it towards the middle. And it just looks like my lips, but a little bit more pinky eye, if you know what I mean. And then lastly, I almost like contour. <laughs> only me. Only, this only happens to me. And then with like a dark brown, I kind of just do like the edges of my lip. And then just at the corners. This is like the little trick. Three shades of pinky tones and then you got lip filler back. Guys, and I don't even think I mentioned going to go to a restaurant. Yeah, we're going to go to a restaurant that we got invited to. Don't you think, right, that when you don't have nothing to wear, you just go for black? I bought this two-piece from Mango recently. It's like wool kind of material. I'm going to put it on and I got this jacket as well, guys. Again, I bought from Mango. It's not the warmest, but I'll put a body underneath so I'm warm. And then I'm thinking just to like put my New Balance trainers, cash. Oh my god, it feels so comfortable. Yeah, I think this is going to be it. I'm going to show you full, but I think it's the jacket that makes the outfit. So let's just put this on. Yes. Yes. I mean, all I want to wear is black. Like, I think I'm going to go shopping and just get black clothes. Because you just feel like... Oh, I just think it's the nails. I just want to match everything with my nails. And guys, I want to show you, yeah. I went on Shein and I bought these socks. How cute are these little socks? Oh my god. And guess what? They're only like two pounds. So, if you ever want loads of socks for really cheap, go on Shein. <laughs> I finally chose... I put my Asics on just because they have a bit of black. Yeah, I don't think it looks bad. It's very casual, like bougie vibes with my Bottega Veneta bag. Wear my Burberry scarf that I have. And I think it goes perfectly with the outfit because it is cold outside. So I'll see you when I get in the car. Guys, yeah, so we are in central London and I'm really excited to do Christmas this year because I have my own space and I've always dreamed to like buy my own stuff because I have nothing really. 
So now that we're in Central, I think I'm gonna take the opportunity to see what's in the shops and show you guys some ideas if you guys wanna do some Christmas shopping. I think I'm gonna go to one of my favorite shops. You probably saw it in my other vlog, H&M Home. I belong in that shop. So there's that like beans here in H&M Home. There's that like black and white. And then there is green and red, which is cute. There is so many cute stuff in here. I just can't deal with it. I like this blanket for the living room just for Christmas. Look how woolly it is. Oh my god, and I kind of want my sofa to have a bit of colour. So I think I'm going to get this blanket. There's all these candle decorations with the little Christmas tree. And they have all these little like colourful candles that you can kind of add on here. As we're in here and we're like, what colour should we do the theme of Christmas? Like, there's green vibes, there's brown vibes. Green with black. Like, the most indecisive person is trying to figure out what colour. We're gonna get a white for the middle, red. White and red and maybe black. So like, that colour combo is just so much stuff. Okay. <laughs> so we got the goods. I bought so many cute things for the house and for Christmas. I'm like in the middle of Piccadilly. I never walk around here even though I live here. And if you're not from London, I'm just going to show you around to show you how London city is at night. It's so busy. Like London really has a lot of tourists. So obviously I'm not vegetarian, I'm going to eat the meat. If you are, this would be perfect for you because you get to eat exactly the same. Or if you have like lactose intolerance, they have lactose free milkshakes. We've got the wings, we've got pomegranate and yogurt chips. We've got the nachos. The burger looks so nice, I kind of want to order it. <laughs> you know, I'm a fan of wings, so these look amazing. And we've got cocktails. Intolerant. So there's this K-pop shop that you can choose your background and then you can take some photos for only eight pounds, which is so cool. You get to get um, a little bunny accessory for the picture. Here <laughs> you are. <laughs> Put it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take you seriously. Your head looks too big. <laughs> Next. And there we are. The pictures are here. Oh, it took about two minutes, guys. Look how cute they are. That was so much fun and it was so unexpected that we just walked out of Wonderland and then we went into the little shop. <laughs> Honestly, it reminds me of Chinatown back in the day when they used to like have little booths and you can go and take pictures. It was such a good, cute little concept because it's so quick and easy. And it's like, you can even, as much as you print them out, you can also just send them to your phone as well, which was really fun. I'm gonna say quickly, the food was actually so nice. 
surprised like I was utterly surprised and we did not leave anything on the plate like it was so lovely so if you're ever in Soho and you want to have vegetarian food or normal food easy for both of you you have to come there it was actually really delicious and I would definitely go back if I'm ever around it is the next day and I'm just about picking up this camera we needed to do food shopping I feel like Mondays is the day that I do the admin adult life thing so like food shopping but like you know because I'm obsessed with the Christmas stuff right now I am going to go to Danelle it is so dark in London it gets dark so quickly it is only four o'clock in the afternoon and it's pitch black outside <laughs> We are gonna go to Nelm. I kind of love that shop. When I first moved out, we went there and we found so many good gems. So we're gonna quickly go. I'm gonna show you some other options. Right, it's time to check the Nelm out. So if you've never been to this shop, it's basically like a TK Maxx, but they have like more organized, just like the basic for home, but a lot discounted and it's a lot more affordable than normal like shops. So you, I feel like here you need to really dig as well. You need to like try and find gems. For sure. We're gonna eat fish today with salmon. Just want to show you how I season the fish. So we put tomato and onion and on top. We put lemon and salt, pepper. I am so hungry. I cannot wait to demolish this fish, sweet corn, avocado, and cassava again. This is so Years ago, we opened up that. Oven. Yeah, quickly as we could because I need to take my car for a service and this service is going to hurt me like, it is the most expensive service I've ever paid with a car <laughs> anyways it has to be done I'm gonna just have to do it okay, so we just left the car for service I'm gonna get Mia's litter this morning we looked her I know I shouldn't have done it but she has a period again and I just posted my last vlog last week and she was on her period then and now she has it again and she was meowing and we were like oh we need to sleep so we, we just closed the door the living room door and the poor girl pooed on my carpet oh and she pissed on it as well the white carpet that I have in my oh I'm gonna go and get some litter and find a little toy for her but yeah and we're gonna look for coffee machines <laughs> The thing is guys, like I'm not really a coffee person. Okay, I am, but not as much as my boyfriend. And we spend so much, even him, like he'll buy coffees. In Starbucks, you know how expensive they are nowadays. Better to invest in a coffee machine. But why are they 600 pounds? Oh. What? Why is this so expensive? I'm looking at the new iPhone 15. And I accidentally took a picture and I can't get this off. <laughs> There's gonna be a picture of me in curries. Oh my god, I can't delete it. Like the button's in this corner and I can't press it. No. <laughs> How do we delete this? Oh yeah, yeah, here, yeah, here. Yeah. Oh thank god. Oh thank god. We are now home. I've got some packages that I wanna open from this brand, Maylie's, is a lift and body mask. A lift and fern beauty mask. It improves cellulite. Hmm. I have never seen a cellulite treatment. Okay. Be tight, lifts and fern botox masks. So you put them, so you put this mask on your bum. 
That is very interesting. Massage the mask until fully absorbed. Wash hands thoroughly after using product. The sense of heat may increase and may fill up to two hours. Okay, so it makes your bum warm. Oh no way, guys. This is like to tone yourself with just creams. To lift and firm arms. And this one's firm and belly cream. Okay, I can do this while I'm doing cardio. That is very, a very, very cool concept. In the middle of filming, and I just want to quickly show you how nice these individual lashes I just put on look. Like how beautiful do they look? And they all come in this small little tub with small little lashes. And then you put a little bit of glue and you stick it in between your lashes. And wow. with a nice glowy base and a lip stain which i love to use i always always love the clarins lip stains i do like the huda beauty ones which are these as well but i feel like the clarins really stains way more and it lasts even if you wear lip gloss on top it will stay like this the whole entire day so i have this color i have a bag of my favorite makeup products in a mango bag because I've got so much makeup, so when I'm like doing makeup, I always lose what my favourite products are. So for me to be more organised, I just throw it in this bag so I don't lose them in my mess. My two favourite shades are number two and number nine. This is more of an orangey, even though it's a bit scary, it's literally orange. When I apply it, I will drain my lips in it, wait about five to 10 minutes, and then I clean it off my lips. So I just take the residue, leave the stain on the lip. And then this one is like more of a, you know, glammy if I want it to be more bright. This is definitely brighter than this. And this is how you know I use them a lot because they are halfway through and yeah, these are really, really good lip stains. By the way, I filmed this whole makeup look on my TikTok. I'm gonna put the video here and the link is in my description. Don't forget to show me some love in my other platforms, especially on TikTok, which I'm trying to push because I was so consistent on TikTok for such a long time. And then I fell off because life just gets in between. I was traveling loads, but I'm gonna try and do what I love on there, which is creating makeup looks and trying new products. So yeah, don't forget to give this video a like and also on my TikTok. Yeah guys, I just put my mirror like where my balcony is. Honestly, mirrors make your room so much bigger. Look how big the apartment looks. It looks like another extension, but it's just a mirror. I'll show you, we just did the roast chicken and it had this sauce and I'm just gonna put it on top of the chicken. Mm. So today, we are having roast chicken, plantain, and sweet corn. I just thought to show you what I bought for Christmas from H&M, Dunelm, and Sainsbury's. Really, really nice things in Sainsbury's. Mostly for like the table. I got a little ornament for the middle of the table. So I thought this would look perfect and it comes with spaces for the candles. The theme that I decided to go for, it's more like red, green, like ju just traditional Christmas colors. I've got a Christmas hat, a little Santa Claus hat, which looks super cute. I'll leave the hat on just just so you can get in the vibe as well with me because as you can tell I'm very excited for it. I end up getting these two, actually four little string so I can tie it up on the gifts. I know, very extra, but I'm going for the red theme so I thought to get these little, I remember these being £1.50 each. And then I got all the balls. I found these, these Disney ones with like little white patterns inside. I got a pack of 24 balls with one matte, shiny, and another shade of red. Now, but this is probably going to fill up the tree. I did get more balls from Danelle, which I showed you guys. I have plenty of balls. And lastly, I forgot about these. 
I got glass raindrop decorations and I just thought they would look perfect on my tree. H&M home. I found very nice things. They had this in the display of the Christmas dinner, like in the middle of the store. And it just sold me, really. So it's like this wooden plate thing, which you put your plates on top, which looks very old fashioned and adorable. The tablecloth, and this is a linen tablecloth. I just bought a normal white one to put on top and we can kind of make it look a little bit more neutral. Is this napkins, I guess? which goes perfectly with the theme and i did get a little like accessories for them but i got them from Denel, so I'll probably show you in a minute As you can see the color combo is kind of there with a bit of green you see it's getting there i got black plates is to have a flat plate with the plate on top for the living room I showed you this when I was in store. I did end up getting it. It's huge and I just think it's perfect for Christmas. Then pillowcases. Got the pillows from H&M so they will fit perfectly with these. So I just got a plain red suede one. Striped one for £18. Also got this fluffy one. To be honest, I, I saw this the last time I was there and I was like, do I get it? Do I not? I just... Guys, me and fluffy stuff, honestly. My wrapping paper from H&M. It's just black wrapping paper and a brown wrapping paper. And then I got some stuff from Denel. Christmas balls for the tree. This one has a little bit of gold and green, silver. And then I also love these little candy canes that came with it. And these were the cheapest one because there's 30 balls in here. And it was only £8. So... If you want affordable balls, go to now. So I got some synthetic fake plants, which kind of reminded me of like Christmas. I don't really know why it does. So I got this little reindeer. I just thought it was a cute little accessory. I just thought the price was cute too. It was only three pounds. So yeah, that is probably the only Christmas decoration I'm gonna put around because I feel like I have so much going on already. I think that is all. I'm gonna take all my makeup off. We are gonna go to the gym together. We are going to do core. Core is so important because it makes you stronger, it makes your stomach tighter, and it really helps your back. I'll catch you in the gym. Hi guys, welcome to the gym. I'm gonna talk through on what you need. Now I'll add the sets. Just beside here, you need a mat, you need a half ball thing, 10 kg weight. Obviously, this is pretty heavy. If you're a beginner and you're just trying to get into the ab and core workouts, do a little bit lower weight, get a little dumbbell, I get 10 kg. Lastly, it's my favorite, favorite, favorite thing. It's gonna be your best friend. It will kill you the first time you try it. I am warning you, if you've never tried this, it will make you be put off from it. But trust me, you will see results of this.
breath. If you are not out of breath, you cheated and you didn't do as many. <sighs> I told you I want to just try these rollers <laughs> because I don't even know what I'm doing but I do want to try put my hairs in rollers for a few hours and that's what I've been doing and we're gonna take it out together and see if this is a success as well because I did the heatless curls and yes they actually worked they were very uncomfortable to sleep on I had a, such a bad sleep and if you like to feel comfortable while you're sleeping it is not for you Okay, that's one. TikTok at the same time, guys. <laughs> that is such a flop. <laughs> oh, shit. Be trying to enjoy these curls while I have this kind of haircut. I feel like it's the haircut that makes the curls look even nicer because I got layers a lot more layers this time and they're finally growing out guys when i first cut it it was very short and it was really hard to style but now it's kind of like moldening i feel like a haircut looks a lot nicer two three weeks later it looks really nice it's been a few hours later i am craving soup and i just thought to have first soup which is that Vietnamese, traditional Vietnamese soup. Oh my God. I used to eat Vietnamese food every single week next to my house, but I had like kind of a traumatic experience in one of my local restaurants that I haven't been able to go back. Maybe one day I'll tell you guys. Yeah, it was, it was kind of bad. So anyways, we found another restaurant near to my mom's house and we're gonna go and have some soup because I'm craving it so much. Guys, and we got summer rolls, which is prawns, I think it's a ham inside, lettuce, and this is the healthiest version of a spring roll. Guys, the soup that I wanted, chicken, noodles, oh my god, so delicious.